Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're doing another video on our series that we have that is football shirts I got in insert month here as well as the year. This is football shirts I got in February of 2022. So there's five shirts in this video. Also, I want to point out if you don't know what the series is about, basically, it just consists of me going over jerseys I got with in said month and year. And I just talk about them, you know, show them off, showcase them. That's pretty much all it is. Some jerseys do get excluded from these videos, even if I did get in said month. I'll have it in a video on its own if it's special edition or match worn or just something like that that gets its own video. It's not going to be included in here. There's also one jersey that's part of a holiday special that I got in December, but it hasn't ever been shown because that holiday uh, special never did come out. Will it ever come out? Who knows? This is the one for February. I'm recording this in June. It's probably getting uploaded in June as well. I know, I'm a little bit behind, but we are going to start working forward and, you know, getting caught back up. Anyways, that's the plan. Nonetheless, we are going to get started with this jersey that I am wearing right here. What a beaut that it is. The 2002 to 2004 USA home shirt. The winners of the World Cup, not of 2002, but of 2022, of course. Also, we have the beast of the man that is Landon Donovan on the back. Number 21, he did end up scoring Two goals in this World Cup. The first one was against Poland in a 1-3 defeat in the group stage. And then he also scored, once we got out of the group stages, in the round of 16 against Mexico in a 2-0 win. Of course, the U.S. did fall short in the quarterfinals, unfortunately, to Germany due to a 1-0 loss. Michael Ballack scored, I believe, in the 39th minute. And in the 49th minute, Frings for Germany ended up, you know, it's a handball. Should have been a goal for the U.S. Could have been the equalizer. You never know what happens from there. But nonetheless, it wasn't given. Sucks. So there's some controversy there. However, that was the U.S.'s best finish since 1930, making it to the quarterfinals, of course. I do want to point out the material of this shirt. A lot of the base shirt has like a dress shirt feel, like the thin dress shirt you wear under a suit. That kind of poplin broadcloth material, I believe is what it's called. And it just feels nice. This is one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever worn. It's kind of got a looser fit. It's a medium shirt. I look American though. I look super American in this. Granted, I am American, but let's move on to another national team for the second shirt of the video. Moving on to another country that's dear to my heart because I have some heritage there. You know, my 23andMe DNA says I have a pretty hefty percentage in it. We have Svitsaland. Wow, fresh out of the bag, fresh shirt. No printing, unfortunately. Probably will try to get some printing applied sometime in the future. Get Shakiri on it. That'd be lovely. But yeah, we have the 2020 to 2021 away shirt. They wore it in the Euros as well. But great design. It's just lovely. I like the dark red collar. You have the flag. Puma logo. Central lines. And the Swiss Federation thing. Swiss on the back there, on the back of the collar. Also, this design, it's like a mountain panorama. Also has a little crosses for the Swiss flag, which I think is a nice little detail too. The four different colors represent different languages because it's the four official languages of Switzerland. We have German, French, Italian, and Reto Romantic. So, or Romantic, Reto, Reto Romantic. So that's pretty cool. Nice little detail. Well, there's actual meaning behind this shirt. I want to try to start giving a little bit more details to some of the shirts, as opposed to just saying, hey, this shirt's cool. So I do kind of want to bring up a little bit about them because that's something that I could do. If you don't want me to do that, then I could say, just go ahead and comment that, but I'll probably do it anyways. But nonetheless, let's move on to the third shirt of the video. I'm also pulling this shirt straight out of the bag as well. A long way to shirt. Honestly, it's kind of sad because the hype for it kind of dissipated over time. It sounds so sad, but it's still a sick shirt. But a lot of people took forever for them to get it. And then classic football shirts put it up. And they got it before everybody else seemed to have gotten it from when they ordered it from the official site. It was a bit of a pain to order. So we have the lovely Brazilian club shirt of Atletico Mineiro. It's their special edition shirt, Manto de Massa. There's a fan design shirt as well, which is sick. So lovely design there. That fan won the contest and 
got their shirt put on a lovely Lacoste Sportif shirt. Not a manufacturer you see a whole lot anymore, but that's great. It's so great. I like that patch. It's pretty thick. This patch is kind of kind of standard. I do like the silver. Yeah, a little silver stitching. It got a little bit of glow to it. It looks really nice. Manto de Massa 113. And let's see. So the creator of this shirt, the design, the winner of that contest. Lucas Adriano, so great job to him, shout out to him. The detailing that map is of Venus Zerai. I just, I love the map, it looks so clean. Like you can actually make out the words too. It's not just smudged over. There were some fakes of this shirt that were just honestly hilarious to look at really. I was just cracking up seeing some of the fakes that people had coming in. Cause it's one of those shirts, it's so specific. It's not like just a template, so it's kind of hard to fake and it looked good. I'm sure there's some decent looking fakes, but most time there really isn't. That little red triangle on the top of the back of the collar is also the flag of Minas Jirai. So that's pretty dope. I don't have any printing on this. It wasn't really an option to put printing on it, but we have tons of detailing on the sleeve with we'll saying there, Arena MRV on it. Of course, you've probably already seen the close-ups of that. His shirt, of course, was in celebration of the club's 113th year. And one of the really dope things about the design is the 113 that honestly, I feel like a lot of people should know about, but they don't know about, is the fact that it looks like the Lecoq Sportif Rooster. So, it's pretty sick to me. I don't know, do you care? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like that cock? I mean, he's not, you know, I wouldn't say he's small. He's just there on the corner. Maybe average. Honestly, I'd say he's, he's pretty huge, actually, some may say. Beautiful shirt, though. World class. Moving on to the next shirt. It's an Arsenal pre-match shirt. Arsenal 21 slash 22 pre-match TFL collab. So that's sick. Something you don't see every day. And honestly, the advertisement for this, traumatizing. You'll see some pictures here, and here, and one right here. It's, it's traumatizing. Look at that. What is that? Nonetheless, this, what is this? A beautiful shirt. Of course, inspired by the tubes. You know, the, the seat pattern of the tubes, I should say. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we have on the top, on the back of the collar, we have a custom little London Underground Arsenal logo so beautiful 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 that's one thing about arsenal they're not being class on the pitch they're being they're looking class on the pitch when they're standing still and you're just looking at their jerseys and not their footballing ability but no on a real though arsenal fifth place whatever sucks that it wasn't fourth but improvements are being made i must say our teta ball is in full effect we're winning the league next year come on you gooners all right Come on, you Gooners. But the Arsenal Tube Station celebrates its 90 year anniversary next year. This shirt was, of course, available in long sleeve and short sleeve versions. I prefer short sleeve versions, to be honest with you. A lot of people may disagree. But like long sleeve is more popular anymore, it does seem. The Arsenal Tube Station is a London Underground station located in Highbury, London. It's the only tube station named directly after a football club. It was originally known as Gillespie Road. It was renamed in 1932 after Arsenal Football Club, who at the time played at the nearby Highbury Stadium. Although Highbury Stadium closed in 2006, the station retains its name and is still used by spectators attending matches at Arsenal's nearby Emirates Stadium. But lovely, lovely little shirt. Crazy, crazy collab, honestly. One of the more interesting collabs I think I've seen in football shirt culture. Keep producing great kids, so. Adidas, you love Arsenal, don't you? Because this is a beauty, an absolute beauty. Moving on to the final shirt of the video, the fifth shirt, we have an Inter Milan home shirt that is still in the bag over here. And it is the 21 slash 22 Inter Milan home shirt. There's something more special about it. Okay, so you see it there on the front. 
beautiful shirt regardless. Digital bits, sponsor there on the side, on the sleeve, and the only other one we have the Sirion patch, which is nice and thick. Great material on that, that's great. That is sublime. I just love this shirt on its own. We got the lovely Scudetto there in the center as well. Fine, fine shirt. Enter Milano there on the inside of the collar. Oh, it's actually that. Pressed on. But now we're going to get to the back. What makes this shirt special? The fact that it is the Chinese New Year edition. So, Year of the Tiger, of course, we have number 95, the Bastoni. You'll see it better on the close ups, the tiger scratch marks on the printing. But of course, the name for Bastoni written in Chinese. I love the Inter Milan do this. I know it's kind of looked at as like a shameless cash grab, you know, like whatever. I don't care. I love this shirt. Call it shameless of them, but they can grab my cash with shirts like this because I'll just grab the shirt. Shameless shirt grab. I just got to hand some cash over. That's fine. This is the third Inter Milan shirt that I have where they do this. Honestly, I'm not too sure if they've done this with more shirts. Um, but I know of three, and I've gotten the past three years, so I do will I get the one next year, probably, honestly. I love the idea of it. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. They wore this on January 22nd, 2022, versus Venezia. Henry scored for Venezia, and then Inter Milan. 40th minute goal by Brella, and then a 90th minute winner by Ed and Jekko. Bastoni did get a yellow card in this game, but Bastoni is a player I rate highly. And honestly, not too many people talk to him that much. Talk to him. Not too many. Maybe. Does, does anybody talk to this guy? Is he left out? <laughs> no. But um, not too many people talk about him a whole lot. I don't think he's rated very highly. I know that Inter Milan won a lot of money for him, so maybe there's that. But when it comes to seeing like English press or people who talk English, I don't really see a whole lot of information about him. But from what I've seen, he's a class player. And who knows how long he'll be Inter Milan. Maybe he'll already have transferred by the time this video is out. But nonetheless, that does conclude it here, ladies and gentlemen. We had five lovely shirts. One thing I want to point out that I think is pretty cool, which I noticed while I was getting these shirts together, because I have the jerseys pretty much all together based off the month so that I can go ahead and have them ready to record these videos. But um, this shirt here, USA, North America. And then, of course, we have the England shirt. So there's the UK. Then we have the Italian shirt, Europe, you know. Also referencing the Chinese. So we kind of throw Asia in there. And then we have the lovely Manto de Massa Elitico Monero shirt representing Brazil, South America. So it's kind of cool because, like, you know, we had South America, North America, Europe, United Kingdom. That kingdom, I know, kind of part of Europe, Brexit, whatever. We ain't gonna talk about that. Then Asia, Australia is left out. I'm sorry. Antarctica is also left out. But we have variety there. Let me know in the comments what you think of these shirts. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Which ones don't you like? Which ones do you like? Which shirts should I get? Which shirts shouldn't I get? Anything you want to talk about, honestly, in regards to football, football shirts, I'm up for it. Nonetheless, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Snoom, and adios.